Here you go, folks. Enjoy. What's wrong, Dylan? You love dessert. Nothing, it's just, it's weird. What's weird? When you guys are getting divorced, but you're acting like nothing's wrong. It's not like we hate each other and we're still your parents. Then why are you separating? Denial is a powerful thing. Dylan, I'm gay. The author of this recent op-ed writes that a few days before his father died, he admitted he was gay. He wasn't afraid of death, but he was terrified of how his son would react to hearing he'd been lying all along. Yeah, that's real funny. Seriously. I am serious. Okay? You're leaving mom for another guy? Divorce is never easy, especially when there are kids involved. Dylan is struggling to cope with his parents' separation when he finds out that his father's sexual orientation is the cause of it. If you saw a son berate and reject his dad after finding out he's gay, what would you do? Hey, that's not fair to your father. My father? Can I still even call him that? Ah. <laughs> Barry and Dan are trying to enjoy a family meal at the East Windsor Town Diner. Is there something you want to talk about? But Dylan wants to get straight to business. Why did you get a divorce? I don't think this is the place to be doing this. I don't care. I just need to know. I'm not a kid. Why did you get a divorce? How will this first customer react when Dylan finally gets his answer? The reason we got a divorce is because I discovered that I was gay. What? Gay? Yes. How could you be so selfish? You did this to mom, you did this to me. If, if I was lying to anybody, I was lying to myself. And her, when you said, I do, when you loved her. This isn't the place to be doing this. Okay, come on. Just give him some space, no. come here. Give him some space, he needs some time. With mom and dad gone, she takes the moment to provide some perspective. I'm sorry for you, and unfortunately, I'm gonna tell you something. Your father's been living with that for a long time. He tried to convert into what we accept as normal for him not to be isolated. But I feel like I lost him. You didn't lose him. He is the same person with the same values and the same emotions. When mom and dad return, she reinforces her message. And let me tell you, it doesn't matter what age you are, divorce is divorce, it hurts. But these two people don't change. These two people still love you very, very much. What made you do this? Gay. You live with your whole life. You know inside from very young. It's something they hide to, to fit into society. And that's the unfortunate problem, is that we don't give them the right to be who they are. It's a sentiment Dylan hears over and over. You know, it's still your dad, man. Accept him for what it is, you know? It's the only thing you can do. He should be supportive and understanding. People reach a certain point in their life, and if they're not happy and they're living a lie, they realize it's now or never. For him to screw up the courage to tell you, he was just as concerned and afraid of telling you because he didn't want to lose you. But you have to come to grips with who he is. Still the same man. While Dylan takes his lessons in empathy, it will be all right. Give him time. Do you think so? Dad gets a few of his own in patience. Yes, I do. I have two teenagers. They they're stronger than you think. Remember, I mean, I initial reaction is always hard. It's hard when you feel like you've disappointed them, too. It's a, it's a tough time in his life to I mean, begin with as a freshman. The, the divorce in itself is a lot. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's, you know. It's a brave thing to do. Well, he seemed very upset. I mean, you, you have to expect him to be shocked. Of course, of course. And I, I feel very guilty because we waited so long. At least you told him. So now he understands. Oh, right. Take time for him to digest. When Dylan returns, they try to lighten the mood. <laughs> if looks could kill, you'd right? be dead. Right? <laughs> I'm not trying to overreact. I just, I, I didn't know what to feel. You gotta digest everything. It's, it's a shocking thing, but being gay, it's not a big deal. 
doesn't change the fact that he's your dad. And he loves you, so what else matters? <laughs> What would you do? I'm John Quinones. Yeah, I know you. As a young person, your advice to the son? As hard as it is to digest, it's just as hard to tell you. But it doesn't change anything, in my opinion. This probably didn't happen much in your generation. No. I knew gay people that, you know, as I got older, and they said it was so hard for them to live. They just couldn't be happy with what they had to do. So in that sense, you applaud the father. For I absolutely, 100%. We're rolling one last time. A person cannot live a lie. You can't live a lie. I wouldn't want you to do that. This family is broken up now. How is this better? How? Because your father will be happier. I'm supposed to be just okay with it? I feel like we can talk about this, but if you're, gonna, if you're just gonna put up a wall about it, then there's no place to go. You lied for years, and I don't think I have any respect for you anymore. You don't have any respect for me? No. Jesus Christ. Dan. Okay, one second. One second, okay. Seeing Dylan alone and in need, this diner calmly reassures him that it takes time to process. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. You're not wrong. What am I supposed to do, right? There's nothing you can do because you need to know that you can have a disagreement and disagree with how they are regardless of what they say they are or do. And when the time comes to approach dad. Say, I, I have to process this. It, it's okay. You're entitled to protect yourself in that regard. Do you think that he could still be my father? Of course, he's, he'll always be. You don't get to choose your parents, remember that. And regardless of the reason for the split, you gotta find a way to forgive him. For Sandra Lupo, it turns out she's quite familiar with divorce. Um, I'm divorced, but it was hard on my kids, you know. But I said to them, you know what? Your dad, you don't get to choose. You only get one. You need to find it in your heart to forgive him. And hate in your heart yeah. will consume you. Yeah, because that's like taking the poison and expecting the other person to die. We would just be better off in this world if we decided to allow people to be what they believe.